Now that you have the load cells installed in the field, and of course, load cells have to be mounted in a certain way. These are much simpler than other load cells to mount. Uh, a lot of that has to do with their uh, particular design, and we've, we'll talk about that at another time. Once these load cells are mounted, you're ready to install. You've got your uh, modules put in a panel, powered up. Now we're going to talk about how do we zero and calibrate the load cells and why is that important. As you can see from the face of the processor, there are five buttons. F for function, up arrow, down arrow, escape, and enter. First, let's talk about zeroing. First thing you want to do is, is you want to reset the password. Every scale module from the factory comes out with the same password. It's very fairly simple to remember. It's sequential odd numbers, one, three, five, seven. So hit the function key, or F key, until you see pass, P-A-S-S. -S. Now that we have the password entered, we are able to change. The very next button after I hit my function key is zero. As you can see right now, zero is 0.04. We're gonna hit our enter key now that we have everything set up that we were ready to re-zero, and we are at zero. Hit my function key again, and if I wanted to do calibration, that's the very next function. Current calibration factor is 11.36. Once we've calculated what that is, we'll know. Let's assume we've decided to calibrate and it's uh, 120.24. I'm going to hit my up arrow let that cycle through. Oh, 120.24. Now I hit function again. Go to the CAL for CAL. Simply hit enter. And function one more time, which shows me my calibration factor, CALF. I need to write that down. In this case, it's 862764, and I record that so I can use it again at a later date. If you'd like to see this entire calibration procedure in writing, you can go to your instruction manual and look at page 17. Now function, and I'm going to go through my function. Now that I've set everything, I'm back to load, and I'm going to reset my password so that someone doesn't accidentally change something. It really doesn't matter where you set this. We generally prefer people set it back to zero. And hit the function key until we are at load. And we're done. The most unique feature of the Alpha Laval load cell system is that it does not use a strain gauge. Now, a strain gauge is what most all other load cells use. And a strain gauge is a device that is put into the load, and as load is applied to it, it flexes. As it flexes, electrical current changes. And over time, it can flex and basically become uncalibrated. The reason for recalibration of these devices is to factor out those physical changes in that gauge or in that instrument. Because the Alpha Laval load cell system does not use a strain gauge and actually uses a capacitive device that isn't in the load, it never becomes distorted by the load itself. Because it's not distorted by the load itself, it never needs to be recalibrated.